Well, first one, tip my hat to, to Michigan Tech. Uh, you know, we've had a ton of respect for them, uh, playing them now a third time. It's never easy. They're so well coached and disciplined. And, uh, you know, they gave us a lot of trouble in the first half. It was kind of back and forth. I thought we had a good comfort uh, zone um, running our offense. Uh, and then they kind of took, a, took us away from some of that uh, end of the first half uh, and hung right in there in the second half. Obviously, a tale of two halves. Our defense was great. Uh, in the second half, our energy was was much better. Uh, I thought that we did a really good job of keeping the ball, um, you know, in the middle of the floor. The guy to my left here, Kemji, was was special tonight. Nine assists, two turnovers, and we just hit some some key shots that kind of built our lead. Uh, playing Michigan Tech, sometimes the possession uh, the possession game is not up there, so it's not going to be an eighty point game. So every possession matters. And I thought our guys in the second half did a really good job of taking advantage of our possessions. I thought we got good shots uh, every time down the floor. Uh, we didn't turn it over. We, we only had six turnovers, which is always crucial. And then, you know, we forced 10 and kept them off the offensive boards. They did not get a, they had four offensive boards the first half and none the second. So we really cleaned that part of the game up. And our guys just hit uh, timely shots and uh, happy to advance this time of the year. It's all about just surviving and advancing. And our guys put one heck of a second half together. Yeah. Well, certainly our, our focus, I mean, we, we, we sent some double teams at him and really wanted to have six eyes on him every time he caught the ball and, and really give a lot of gap help. You know, certainly, uh, I mean, my hat goes way off to Josh Goldschmidt. I was in the hospital last night, uh, with migraine headaches and sick, and uh, we, we didn't think he was going to play today. Didn't, didn't come to shoot around, didn't come to the awards banquet last night, uh, and really started feeling better around 12 or 1. He goes, Coach, I'm good. I, I can go. Uh, he left his heart out there, guard Monroe, made things difficult for him. Josh didn't score a point, uh, but his value was, in, was great, uh, just making Monroe earn the points that he got. And most importantly for us, we kept him off the free throw line, and he didn't shoot a free throw. And, and that's great defense by, by Josh and other guys trying to get vertical on him because he just doesn't miss free throws, and you, you can't let him have you know, five, seven, eight baskets along with 10 free throws, and then all of a sudden he's up into the 30-point range. So hats off to Josh, but I thought it was a, it was a total team effort on him. Maybe that uh, stretch in the second half, uh, you were kind of quiet for a little while there, but then offensively uh, you had a big stretch there that really uh, kind of put the game away. Uh, my focus was, I mean, always to get my team involved. And then at some point, um, Coach and myself want, want the ball in my hand to make plays. And, you know, I started making shots eventually. So um, I found some confidence and kept attacking. I mean, I'll talk about uh, maybe your performance here, and obviously I uh, got off to a great start tonight and playing in front of you know some of your fans uh, from this from this area. Yeah, uh, our uh, when it's it's kind of easier when you have a point guard like Akemji over here giving you the ball and creating for you. But uh, uh, our coach puts us in great positions to succeed in our roles, and that's really all I have to say about that. Is is with Akemji and coach making making things easy on me. So. Well, I mean, certainly, I think both both uh, staffs and both teams kind of thought they would have a good chance to be in the situation. Uh, both of us had, you know, some tough games uh, to get to this point. Certainly, it'll be an exciting matchup. Last time we were here, um, you know, they really blitzed us in the first half, and our guys showed a lot of heart to come back. Uh, I mean, they're obviously a top three team uh, in the country for a reason. They've lost one game. And that was at our place, uh, you know, 20 games ago. So they don't know what it's like to lose. And uh, you know, we're excited for the matchup. We know it's we know we got our hands full. It's obviously a tough task uh, to play Ferris State anytime, home, away, neutral. Um, but our guys have have played with a lot of confidence. I think we're playing the best basketball we've played of the season, uh, the last seven eight games. And uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity.